Welcome back. We're now able to search for commands and assign shortcuts to those searches. Let's start by unpinning this drop-down menu. Here's our search toolbar. Let's expand the menu flyout and scroll down to commands and select it. The keyboard shortcut for doing this is to type W. Now I'll just start typing the command that I'm searching for. Now let's say, for example, that I'm looking for the fillet tool, so I'll start typing the first few letters, F-I-L, and here's a number of results. When I mouse over, I get a callout telling me what the tool does, and I just left-click to activate the command. Here's the property manager. Let's cancel out for now. It's also a bit easier to find the location of the command. Let's go to the Sheet Metal tab, for example, type W to activate the search command field, and let's type in the first few letters of fillet, Notice when I mouse over the fillet, there's some glasses on the right. Here's this icon. When I click these glasses, SolidWorks finds the command for me, takes me to the Features tab, and this giant red arrow shows me where the command is. I just click on the command to activate it. And let's cancel out of the Fillet Property Manager. Let's take a look at another option right now. Press W to activate the search command field. Type the first few letters of the word fillet. I can grab the command and drop it right here on the command bar. Now we're also able to assign a shortcut to our command. Let's go back to the Customize window. Keyboard tab. This tab is where we can assign keyboard shortcuts to commands. Let's find out where the fillet command's located. I already know, of course, that it's located on the Insert menu under Features. But if I don't really know, I can simply type in the first few letters of the command. I just type it into the Search For field, F-I-L-L, -L, and SolidWorks filters out the command for me. This column here is new, Search Shortcut. Let's double-click in a cell, and I'm going to type in F1 as my shortcut. Let's click OK. Now when I press W to activate the search command field, and then I type F1, the fillet tool appears. I give it a click and it becomes active. Let's close the fillet property manager. We can search the options dialog window, system options, and document properties. For example, I can type in a few characters of what I'm looking for. Let's type the first couple characters of input, IN. Now a number of options appear below. When I select an option, I'm taken to where those options are located in this dialog window. This is obviously a very convenient way to locate any properties you're trying to adjust. Keep in mind that some options may not be available depending upon which type of document you've currently got open. Let's cancel out of that window, and this concludes our tutorial about improvements to the search box options.